wanted to say something anyway, so. Woo! Oh, we're trying to figure out why this fucking acoustic guitar can't be heard. Uh, we're gonna say a couple things. One, this is the last night of a tour that started five weeks ago. And uh, I haven't been out on the road, like in a van with dudes for uh, like four years, probably. Are they smelly? Are they smelly? Actually, these guys smell very good. They're very fresh. Man, if you have something to say, you can ask us to our face. <laughs> They're actually very fresh smelling. smelling. We smell like things. Thanks, man. Um, but I was in a, you know, the, the dam was, which was originally four guys. It was me, Stephen Terry, Ted Hudson, and Dave Turnus. We toured around the country for five years in a, in a different kind of different kinds of vans. We played at First Avenue a number of times. Yes! Uh, we always love coming to Minneapolis. The blue October! Uh, yeah, it's no. sort of a dark dark part of our history. But, um, love you. But, although, we had a great time. Fucking anyway. Can I, can I finish? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, I'm telling you. Uh, uh, but anyway, uh, so it's nice, it nice to be out on the road, and I, uh, I, I remember what it, how nice it was to be like just traveling from city to city and being in the van and telling a bunch of jokes and just being like a kind of like a regular person who is not a, a regular person. Does that make sense? Yes. Absolutely. No. Yes. no. Um, but anyway, it's really nice. So now I gotta go back home to Los Angeles. Which is, uh, not really my home, it's like my wife's home, and I'm trying to figure out how to, uh... You have a wife? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was my favorite moment of the whole tour. Because <laughs> everyone who comes to these shows knows that you have a wife, too. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Who's that dude? Because I feel bad for him. He's been, he's been captured and immortalized. I think I'm too old for you, frankly. No, 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 no. I think I probably. He's saying no, 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 no. He knows how old I am. I like that guy. That was not at all weird. Anyway, uh, I, appreci I appreciate your enthusiasm, man. We have CDs and t-shirts for sale over there. Um, but anyway, it is, it is really nice. To, this is the last night of the tour, so I know you weren't probably expecting a speech or anything, but, you know, you, you can go fuck yourself, because I'm getting my <laughs> But anyway, it's really nice to be out on the road again, and nice to come to these cities and see all you people, and I really, 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 really appreciate buying you buying my records, buying Harper Bloom records and Harper Jennings records, and coming to see music and coming to this place, and all the different places that you come, all over the road, and we're coming, and you're coming, and everyone's coming. <laughs> um, but anyway, it is really important. It's important that you keep coming to shows because uh, you know we, this is this has kind of become a dying art. I think showing up on the road. I hate to think that what we're doing is art, but it is. Uh, it is come back. No. <laughs> Okay, of course I'll come back. <laughs> but I love Minnesota. Minnesota is a very important place for the kind of music that I, that I write. And really like. It kind of makes a lot of sense that I, we would end here. But we're going to come back. Next time that we'll come back, we'll be a little, a little less drunk. <laughs> song you wanted to hear, so. Appendices. Yeah. And I ended with one. Appendix. Appendicitis is 
Okay, okay. One, one, one anecdote. We're in the hospital to go visit Jay. We're driving from New, New York to North Carolina, and Jay's like, I have IVs like in every fucking well, organ in my yet. body. Yeah. Not yet, but we're, we were driving, and Jay's like, oh, I just have the worst fucking gas. Worst gas. And so we bought him some gas X. And actually, he's like, well, it only says you're supposed to take like three in like, 24 hours. And I was like, it's probably not a big deal. You can probably take more. So I called the gas X hotline. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't actually at all. At all. Um, but I, I, so I talked to this woman and I'm like, so, you know, I have a friend. <laughs> well, first I, I know, first I just said, so this person that I know is really bad at gas. And I was, and I was like, well, who is it? And I had to explain, I was like, it's my son. <laughs> He's like 18. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> and so finally the woman's like, well, I don't think it's that bad if you take too much gas sex. It'll probably just make him constipated or something. <laughs> and so I said, you know, the poor little dude probably just has to fart. You did say that, and that didn't make me feel better. <laughs> anyway, so Jay took a bunch of gas sex, and that didn't work, and then we, we literally showed up at the... Because the truth is that gas sex isn't good for an inflamed appendix. <laughs> We showed up in North Carolina the first day of the tour and had to literally drop our guitar player off at the hospital before we hit the venue. Which is kind of like, if, if, that's, if that's not a bad omen, I don't know what it is. Um, but Jay survived. We went to the hospital. And then the best part is that we're at the hospital. Jay has had his appendix removed by laparoscopic surgery. Yay! Awesome. Big fans of laparoscopy right here. Um, anyway, so... So we're in the room, we're all kind of crowded around Jay. Jay's just, you know, the, the anesthesia is still wearing off, so he's kind of a little, whatever. He's, he's sitting there and, the, and, he's and like, the Percocet is kicking in. The Percocet is kicking in. There's like some, some, some valleys and, and awesome. boobies. Or, and we're, so we're sitting there and he's like, yeah, North Carolina. Um, I don't know. Anyway, so, so Sara, our, our loyal friend and drummer, Who's actually very, very intelligent, <laughs> despite what I'm about to say. <laughs> I really do think Sarv has been my roommate this entire tour, and he's he's like my best friend now. He's extremely intelligent, very intuitive, and very attractive. Oh, yeah. So that's just a, just so that he won't hate me when I make fun of him, which I'm about to do. So he goes, well, Jay, what, what, what did he say exactly? Can you please? He's like. Well, so you have like two appendixes, right? Or is that, so you still have one? And I was like, and I laughed for the first time since my surgery, which was not a good thing to do after you've had a And um, And I said, no. And he said, well, don't you have like two livers too, or something like that? You have two of a lot of things, like two livers. You have two of a lot of things, like two, two livers. And two livers, and you're like, not the livers, man. <laughs> He just said you didn't laugh because some of you may have also thought that human beings had two livers. <laughs> I, I which, blame which the lack of laugh on true. my delivery, so because I think most of you know that you don't have two appendices and two livers. But <laughs> maybe I don't know. Maybe you guys are fucking idiots. I don't know. <laughs> the moral of the story is, if you if you have Twitter, you can follow Sarabisms. It's some of the greatest shit that you've ever read in your entire life. Just yeah. some brilliant, just musings on life. Because Sara will just say shit in the van, we'll just be driving around, and he'll be like, What was one he said today? What was one he said today? Yeah! Don't let me down. <laughs> you big fucking baby. Today, Sarab said. <laughs> Sarabisms. Like, he has like a hundred thousand I have so many sarvisms in here. Oh my god. Have you guys seen dirty, rotten, filthy scoundrels? Who <laughs> <laughs> said that today? I won. I won. Which is one, 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 one thing he said today was, you have no idea how much I wish I wasn't hanging out with me right now. <laughs> Exactly the sentiment of Sarabisms. That's the essence of Sarabisms. It's down with the ship. Read them a great one, please. 
I can't. Well. Put, him, put him away. But he did say, I have a fear of unsanitary remote controls. <laughs> Let's start out with a fear of something else. I have a fear of people not understanding my jokes. <laughs> I also have a fear of unsanitary remote controls. <laughs> this was set three hours ago. Sarabisms. If you're not following Sarabisms on Twitter, you're not using the internet correctly. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna play a song now. Uh, how, about, how about this? We shut the fuck up. Yeah.